Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this video is a, a first video in a new series I call it Moderate Beginners. Mean it is designed for those who are beginners but not like absolute beginners. So this is the second series after absolute beginners. Okay, this is the first one and in this video we would like to draw this shape here. And to draw this shape, if you look carefully, this is the top projection this is a front projection and this is a right side projection and to accomplish this uh, shape in a in an efficient way i need to uh, i see symmetry about the shape itself so i'm going to put everything on the on the current axis uh, along the symmetry of the, the central axis and the projection planes and the, you notice something here also if i know how to sketch the front projection here it will be easy to make the part by just drawing the sketch here and then extruded 50 millimeter so I get the shape and then later I can uh, uh, lock myself to the surface here in the top of the both sides, make one hole and use the mirror, the, uh, the right side plane reference to make a mirror of the hole to the other side. So without a further ado, let's go to solid edge and start the program itself. All dimensions are in millimeter and we will start solid edge by clicking on new so i'm going to say new and see metric because dimensions are in millimeter so i'm going to say part and i say okay as you can see i have the pathfinder and it, if it happened that you don't see the pathfinder like like let me close it if you don't have if you don't see the, the pathfinder all what you need to do is just you go back here in the top at pins expand it and look for pathfinder which is item number four click on it and it will come automatically back the next step is if i look carefully to the drawing i have so i'm going to start with a, a rectangle by center and this rectangle is 150 width and the height is 12 and I put it exactly in the in the middle in the center here okay? and I, I wouldn't know, I worry about the cut here the 6 by 55 later okay so let me start first with the uh, rectangle by center once I click on one of the drawing tool the projection plane will appear as you can see here if I start if I close this one the projection plane disappears so once I click on rectangle by center one of the drawing tool you see that the projection plane appeared before i do any dimension or any uh, thing and i put any dimension or anything here i will lock myself to the front plane so i'm going to touch one of the of the lines on the front plane and click on the lock once i click on the lock i see what i see the lock in the upper right corner now I'm going to go to the front plane and start the drawing and the first one is a rectangle by center the width is 150 and the height is 12 so I'm going to go back here to the height 12 I'm going to put 12 and the angle is 0 it's okay yeah. I'm going to go to the drawing and put it exactly at the center here once I see the uh, center highlighted orange I'm gonna click at the orange spot. Now I have everything done, and let me lock the dimension. Means I need to keep the dimension as it is. Why? Because the default I have here is say that it say it says it say maintain relationships. Okay, so I want to maintain. I don't wanna. I want to 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 lock the dimension to the exact dimension I want. Okay, so I'll just instead of changing it, just I'll leave it on but I will lock it by what by booting the dimension by myself so let me move here get this one this should be 12 once I put it 12 it will stay 12 and once I put this one 150 it will be 150 okay this is very good and let me move it to the side a little bit here okay now if i look carefully after that is i see that in the drawing itself i need to do, I'll do a cut here is what 55 by 6 
and I'm going to do a mirror of it on the other side. So let me go, go, go to here in this area here. So I'm going to choose any point and I'm going to how to draw this one. I will draw it by rectangle by two point. I will, I will show you how to, to accomplish that. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. I am going to expand rectangle and I choose the second one rectangle by two point. And, and this two point is going to be what? Okay. Uh, I'm going to click at any point here on the bottom here. Okay. Then I'm going to start the two of the rectangle by two point. And the first dimension should be 55. And the height should be 6. I'm going to put 6. And the angle is 0 is fine. Okay. So I put the rectangle by... Now I need to lock the dimension. So I'm going to go to uh, the dimension smart dimension and this i need to put it 55 so it can stay 55 and i need to put this dimension it should be six and so it can stay six after i am done with the dimension locking the dimension i need to fix the location of this rectangle from the center line so the this the dimension i'm going to use is uh, distance between horizontal vertical from this line which is the side of this rectangle to the x uh, the z axis i need this one to be 10 so i'm going to make it 10 and notice something here it is 10 and the other dimension moved without changing any dimension it will maintain the dimension why because i locked the dimension i put it the dimension try to do it as a habit from now okay so now i can go to uh, trim and highlight this line highlight again so I get it out. Now I need to make a mirror of this cut here. So I'm going to highlight it. It will be highlighted. And then what? Click on the Z coordinate. So I made the mirror here on the other side. I need to use the, the trim. Get rid of the extra line here. Very good. How can I know that if everything is done perfect? Because when I see the dimension here, here is 10, here become 20, means it is symmetrical, exactly this should be 10. See if you look here, this should be 10. Okay. The next step is I need to draw, if you go carefully here, I need to draw what? This top rectangle, which is 60 by 40. You see the 40 by 60, and I need to put it exactly in the middle of the shape. So I'm going to go to solid edge and I'm going to choose rectangle again by two point. I'm going to choose any point here on this line and make the uh, horizontal distance is 60. I'm going to want 60 and the height is 40. If you notice something here, it is not exactly in the center of the uh, of the shape. So how to fix that? Okay, to fix that you go to use distance between oh let me first lock the dimension okay before i do that so i need this dimension to stay 40 so it is 40 and i would like this dimension to stay 60. it is 60 now it's gonna stay like that so now i need to do that the dimension i need to put this one exactly in the center how to put it in the center so i'm going to choose distance between and I'm going to do horizontal vertical. So I'm going to say from the center here to the center here is the coordinate axis. So this distance is supposed to be zero. So I'm going to make it zero then. So I'm going to put zero. Enter. Notice something. Notice that, that the rectangle is going to move to the right to be exactly in the center. End. Okay, so now it is moved and it is exactly at the center of the shape. Okay, so we succeeded and we maintain the relation, the dimensions. Like here is 60 and here is 40 because we lack the dimension already. I'm going to use the trim again and get rid of this line here in the middle here. Okay, good. The next step is to draw this curve here and so on. So the way to do it, I'm going to go to... Uh, get a circle by center. The diameter is what is is 40. You okay, can see the radius here is 20, so the diameter is 40. And I put the, the the circle along the center line, 
and make it at a distance 15 from the top okay so let me do that okay so I need circle by center and this should be diameter 40 okay how can I locate it along the center line so you go here I touch the center line so now I can see that the circle has a, the, along a dashed red line when I see the circle along the dashed red line I click so this means that it is already located along the center line okay and how much I need to look to uh, lock the dimension of the circle which is what should be 40 it is 40 okay so I lock the dimension if you don't lock the dimension it's going to create a problem, a problem later okay so you lock the dimension 40 now I need to do also what a line this line should be tangent to the circle here and it's going to move, move to be vertical I'm going to make it vertical when I see it is vertical symbol I'm going to click right click to get out and get another line from the other side I'm going to move and move vertical when I see the, the vertical symbol I'm going to click and right click to get out move it away and get out okay now let me go to the trim and I can move my trim over this piece here and this side here and this side here and this extra line get rid of it and this extra line get rid of it okay let me see how is the dimensions are located okay so now this dimension x oh look at this dimension okay the vert the radius the line here this oh i need this one to be 15 i didn't make it 15 i should go 15 so i'm gonna put 15 and this radius should be 20 so i'm gonna click on the radius here it is 20 okay it it it, it is it, it stays 20 because i locked it before i should lock the dimension when i move uh, i get the circle i should make the distance is 15 so it will stay 15 but okay so now everything looks fine so what i'm going to do the next step is to go home and you select click at any point inside the shape it will highlight the shape I needed to make it symmetry so I click on symmetry and click on one of the arrows either right or the front or the back it doesn't matter so it's symmetric so it's gonna go both ways and I need this dimension to be 50 so I'm gonna put 50 so I got the dimension 50 the if you look carefully here I need to create this hole here which is 16 millimeter diameter and I need to have it exactly on the top here of this plane here the top here and then make a mirror of it okay so how to do that so let's go to solid edge first I'm going to click on one of the drawing tool circle by center okay before I put anything I'm going to lock myself to the surface here to the to the top here so when I touch the top here the lock will appear so I'm going to click on the lock so the lock will appear here in the upper right corner okay I need I need to put the diameter the diameter the diameter is 16 so 16 I'm gonna go to the top and how to locate the circle to be exactly in the middle of the shape of the of the rectangle you see this is the middle of the side the top side okay so I can go there you can see that if you go vertically you see a dashed red light now go and find the location of the middle of the uh, the, the right side so here is the location of the middle so when I move slowly horizontally till I reach the middle of the shape on the top I will see both of them highlighted and I see both of both the lines to the right to the right on to the top they are dotted uh, red line so I'm gonna click here and it uh, and this means that I located the circle exactly in the middle of the shape and how do I know that okay you see a dead uh, ra, uh, red dotted line vertical and a, a dead uh, a red dotted line horizontal and there is an X in both of them means that they are done exactly in the middle of the shape okay so now let's go to home and then i'm going to go to select and i'm going to zoom to this area 
so you can see the what I'm gonna do okay so what I'm gonna do select again highlight select and the come closer to the edge here no a little bit inside double click here it is click okay when I click it will open the extrude this is the way if you are in the synchronous uh, background okay anyway so I need I don't need a uh, symmetric so it doesn't need that all what I need I need to do a cut so I'm gonna choose a cut and I'm gonna go on the on the arrow down till I see the hole so I'm gonna go down 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 till I see the hole. now I see the hole so means I went through the hole this uh, thickness I'm gonna click okay let's go to the top so means that everything is done perfectly here in the to make a mirror let me move this one uh, to the right a little bit so we can see it okay okay here it is okay okay now I need to make a mirror of this hole and the other side so how to do that so what I'm gonna do I use the property of pattern okay now but before I do that I need to initialize uh, highlight the uh, one of the base reference so I'm going to expand this base reference here and you see right plane the right plane so I'm going to make the right plane uh, available so I'm going to uh, so I make it available so I click on this one and how can I make the mirror so you, you, you select what you did here what I did here I did the cut so I'm going to highlight the cut I'm going to highlight this uh, cut and when I highlight it, this one becomes highlighted. So I'm going to say mirror, click on the pattern here. And I need this pattern to be around what? Around the uh, right, right uh, projection, right projection plane. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. I choose the right projection plane, click on it, and automatically it will create the hole whatever shape in the other and the left side and the right side is going to be doubled in the other and the left side okay and this is how i create the hole so let me go to home and i was able to finish the shape in a very efficient way this will end the video for this session and i hope that you like it uh, first i would like to thank you for watching the video and uh, i would love to hear your feedback and if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day, and see you soon on another video. Bye-bye.